Look at people's man. Very weak disposition. I need men. I need women. Made of steel. Nothing moves. You continue to push forward, never knowing what it means to retreat. Only forward can you go. Mm. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, great beer friends, depending on your time zone and location where you are watching us from, this is Star News TV Biafra 1. <laughs> good morning, my people. Good morning, my people. Good afternoon, my people. Good evening, my people. The man you are seeing on your screen today is Prince SM Mihana Cho, one of the accountability members who is working with Pastor Emeka Livingston and resides in the United States of America. Following the exposition of Mazin and uh, uh, Mazin Simon Ekba, uh, that the headquarters of the Biafra Republic of Metineza House uh, is actually getting ready to start active work. So these people have, you know, uh, uh, sent this one to come and do fact finding as they usually do with their corrupt mindset. He has come here to disgrace himself once more. You know, he has come here to disgrace himself once more. He came to this house claiming that nothing is in there, claiming that he has peeped into the building, but he didn't see anything, that the building was empty. You do not have access to this building. You do not have access into the building. You do not know where these things are. You do not know where the offices are. And you are claiming that nothing is going on. You have not opened this door to know what is in there. You can't even gain access into that place. All you do is to sabotage your brother. Now he has gone there to say that nothing is happening in the house, that the house is a scam, and he even made away with the Biafran flag that you are seeing over there. This is evil of this man. This is what we are talking about. How can people be this evil? Why don't you go and fight for your own Biafra and allow this person to do his thing? Look at him. Following this, just watch the video. And after watching the video, I would show you the response of Mazi Simon Eba. And you would know why I term this video as Mazi Simon Eba, the master, you know, the master game player, you know, response to the shenanigans of uh, Prince Ezem Hanacho. Let's watch him. Fellow peer friends, I'm Prince Ezem Hanacho, a genuine peer friend. I had to take the pain to travel five hours plus to come to this supposed Biafran house to check things out for myself. Since I heard that furnitures were delivered here, I've taken my time to peek through the doors, but I could not see any furniture. I could not see any furniture whatsoever. The truth is this. With the fraud going on, with the scamming going on, obviously there is an invisible figure working with all the lunatics claiming to be fighting for Biafra, who had just gone into the business of purchasing furniture and drove here to pretend they are delivering furniture for this place. I've looked in, I've picked through, I've seen that the whole place is still up. There is no singular cheer in any of these places. All this game and nonsense are a joke and I needed people to understand it, okay? Their friends cannot be fooled any longer, okay? Mambekano is languishing there needing to be brought out and people are out here chasing shadows the game is up we dear friends have come out right now to make sure we do the needful Biafra must be restored and then and the canon must be we say must must be released must be released now as a true dear friend and i identify this flag this is the flag i am claiming ownership of this flag 
okay? I'm going with it, okay? It's my souvenir. Let whoever put this flag here come and put another fake one, but they must show us their face. Their friends don't hide. If you're hiding, then you're not a dear friend. You're a coward. If you're coming to put flag here, you must show your face. Show your face. All these stupid games. Look, we've had enough of it, and we're not having it anymore. So this thing is going with me, and you can see me very well. Their friends don't hide. Okay, we believe in the truth. We stand for the truth. We believe in live and let live. We are in this world to do a job, not to be fraudulent and cheat and steal and keep playing silly childish games. That game is over. We are no longer taking it. I've gone through this whole building, yeah? I peeped through myself. And then um, all these uh, four and the three, totally empty. Nothing in there, nothing at all, not even a single desk. We've come to suit two, the self-acclaimed suit two. We've knocked and knocked and knocked and knocked. Nobody opened the door. Now, if suit two is the office, why is this flag and um, something they are showing that this is the Afran house? Why is it not there? Let's go down to suit two. I'm not having... Please do record me, record me. Somebody is scamming people with this building and it's important we understand it. Somebody in Finland is scamming their friends with this building and um, we really need to see the owners of this building so that we can report it. And we're going to actually make a legal case on this because we, we've had enough. This is crazy, man. Absolute madness. Right. Fellow Biafrans, this is suit two that they claim they wrote to uh, United Nations with. This is suit two. We've knocked and knocked and knocked. Nobody opened, okay? Now, the truth is this, and I'm glad, and I'm very, very glad that we are going to be doing something about this. Yeah? Yeah. So, I'm glad that we are going to be doing something about this. Let me tell you clearly, a lawyer that we met today had actually written a counter letter to make it clear that the rubbish written with this address is fake. And let me also tell you that um, Onyendu has become aware of this nonsense that people are playing with. Okay? We're going to do a broadcast on it so you all understand. All I want to reassure you is that this whole game, this whole nonsense has to stop. And it is stopping now. Okay? It is stopping now. I'm going with this Biafran flag. Okay? And I'm showing my face. If anybody wants to come and replace a fake one again here, they need to show their face. Simon Eta cannot be a prime minister operating from Finland signing papers for this property. We need to know who signed for this property. If the person that signed for this property, whether it is the whole property or whether it's just the two, if somebody actually did sign for it, for you to believe you have a property here, why, why is that person not showing their face or showing off the documentation? And you're there being fooled and you're just going along with nonsense. Azoka Charles lives in, 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 uh, in America. The same way I traveled five hours to come here, what stops Azoka Charles, Azoka Charles Wanko, as your second in command? Coming here, okay, showing documentation to, to, to their friends that this place actually was purchased and bought by their friends. Why is it that uh, it is only the Prime Minister that will talk about the houses that is bought in America? Talk about the one that is bought in, uh, the one that they are using in Finland? He is, uh, he is the uh, administrator. He is the communicator. 
He is the uh, F, he's who has seen a prime minister in this mode before? Only him. Only him <laughs> does everything, eh? Uh, God help all of you. But I tell you something, we are no longer taking this child's play. Enough is enough. We've played that game enough and it has ended. And we will show you proof that it has ended because we're not having it. Uh, I think this should be it for now. But remember, I'm going with this flag. And I'm showing my face. Let the person who initially put it here come back with another one. Do a video like I'm doing now. And exactly. show that they are the Biafrans, yeah? That is mounting this flag. Mm -hmm. Then we can begin to take them seriously. But if they haven't done so, you are just being scammed. That's all you need to know. But then that stealing ends today. Trust me. I thank you very much. And um, I'll be making my way. I hope that is not a $500 car. Um, because all these charts play and talking rubbish. If it's not $500, uh, a $500 uh, car, it is uh, other, other coach. You think this is a game, a child's play? You think it's all about all this nonsense? You people are, you, enough of it. Enough of it. We are serious people. We are, we are, we are here for the freedom of men. Okay, and that is not something to be cracked a joke with. Okay, dancing around like lunatics and behaving so so stupidly. You 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 you. What? Why are you? Why are you embarrassing their friends? Why are you putting their friends through this mud? You're not dealing with little kids like you. Stop this stupidity, man. So look, man. Let me put this uh, flag in my car, so you know it's going in my car. Okay. Right. The, the, the flag is resting in my car now, it's going home with me, okay? Let the idiot that came and put it, let him come and show his face like me and prove that he's a Biafra. Responding to these lunatics, the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic of Mentineza and the person of Mazi Simon Eba has stated that the criminal who went and stole the Biafra flag from the Biafra Republic of Mentineza headquarters made a video of it and posted online he has committed crime against the government and we will take the appropriate step measures and use him to set example meanwhile i want to be testing those criminals by cutting the videos to set the trap always the trap has finally caught them this time so let me post another video now the video that our prime minister posted this time around showed where they opened the door to the seat too and where all the materials were packed into the seat too before on unpacking and you know setting up of the offices now these people are so hypocritical that i do not even understand how to you know explain the whole thing how could you know that he has always been writing suit to suit to suit to and you do not have access into the suit to and you came out to make a statement and even went ahead to remove what was placed there the flag that was placed there were he the one that placed that flag there no you went and removed the flag on a building that does not belong to you you could see the hypocrisy of these people and now you'll be used to set an example for others not to try this nonsense again i don't know why people behave so stupidly he came out to claim that simon Eba was uh, the body prime minister information minister he does everything and one would beg to ask the question what were other people doing during the time of mazen namdekano was Mazen Namdekano not the one giving orders? Was Mazen Namdekano not the one making broadcasts? Was Mazen Namdekano not the leader of the indigenous people of Piafra? Was Mazen Namdekano not every... Who was doing the other things? If Mazen Namdekano does not sanction it, it does not hold water.
now that he is not available and someone else is taking the reins of office to make sure that things are in place things follow what he has planned and to make sure that we get him out of that place somebody is here claiming that this man is everything so indirectly their annoyance part of their annoyance is that simon eba is the face of the struggle this is ridiculous this is unbelievable now let's watch the video posted by our prime minister in the person of man simon eba thank you No, you want to see me? No, no, after all, after all. Okay. okay. Um, I, I have to, sometimes, I, um, if I have to come to each single uh, mailbox because, man, yeah. the mailbox, the mail got, I, I gave you your, yeah. no, 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 it's okay. Yeah. I have a, an extra one too. So I have to come out because the mail guy, he put all my mail like here, over there, you know what I mean? All right. Yeah. So I'm going to open it. If there's anyone there, I'll let you know. I'll, yeah, please, please, please. Okay. Yeah. If you always open something, you see my, my mail, just put it up there. Uh, all right.